in the days before the event. He had the whole world wondering if he would show up. Plane after plane waited on the runway while he napped or took walks and ate sandwiches. Henry Kissinger called and asked him to go for his country's honor. Soon after arriving, he offended the Icelanders by calling their country inadequate because it had no bowling alleys. He complained about the TV cameras, about the lighting, about the table and chairs, and the contrast of the squares on the board. His hotel room, he said, had too nice a view. None of this had anything to do with chess, of course. Or maybe it did. If he won, He'd be the first American world champion in history. If he lost, he'd just be another Patsa from Brooklyn. On the 40th move of the 21st game, he counted Spassky's bishop to king six with the pawn to rook four. And it was all over. He came home an American hero. He bragged to the world he beat the Russians, and he delivered. He can now command the same money as heavyweight prize fighters. He was invited to dinner by statesmen and kings. Then Bobby Fischer made the most original and unexpected move of all.